כן. So in one second we will be live. And we are live. Yes. So, Professor Tzvi Tzvika Zemishlami, welcome to You've Got Mel. Hi, hi everybody. Hi, Mel. Uh, we start out with the jingle. I worked very hard to make a jingle, so we're going to play the jingle, if that's okay with you. You don't have any choice, so... Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Get a chair, grab a seat, or we'll sweep you off your feet. We move, we groove, you got Mel. Ease your legs, rest a while, all you gotta do is smile. We're swell, can't you tell you got Mel? When the show begins, you better hold on real tight. Or before you know it, you'll be high as a kite. Take a break, settle down, we're the only show in town. SRO, don't you know you got Mel? Give it up, don't think twice, we're a hurricane on ice. What the hell, give it yell, ring your bell, show and tell. Mademoiselle, give a smell, you got Mel. You've got Mel. Get a chair, grab oh, a seat, or yeah. we'll sweep you. Once is enough. And Mel has Tzvika. Tzvika. Yes, it's I'm so, here. It's so great to see you. So whatever we talk about is going to be exciting. Where would you like to start? Well, it's 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 your show. I, I, no, it, it, it's, it's no, your... I can start. I can start with an anecdote uh, since I'm I'm here as a psychiatrist. You know, when I first met Mel, he used to call himself the crazy Mel, uh, and I said to him uh, always, "Well, you are not uh, authorized to to call to to make you uh, to make yourself a diagnosis, and I I, I don't think that you are crazy." <laughs> So I had to change the name of the band. Yeah. So, uh, so Tzvika, uh, tell, tell us a bit about your life. You know, it's, it's interesting why somebody studies medicine and then decides to become a psychiatrist. Well, uh, well, I, I think uh, I cannot ignore that I am what is called the second generation, uh, which means I was born in, after the war in Poland. Uh, both of my parents were Holocaust survivors hardcore, uh, and uh, they functioned okay, but uh, not more than that. Uh, so in a very early age, I had to learn about life by myself. Okay, can you give uh, an example? Well, what? Can you give, give an like, example? Oh, and in, 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 in everything, because, you know, they came from Poland, uh, and we were the Sabras, the, the, the new generation uh, supposed to be the heroes uh, and not like, like, like the Jews in Poland. So uh, there was sort of respect for what they, uh, for, for the suffering, but not for their ideas. Uh, 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 examples, for instance, uh, when I was the, in the kindergarten, uh, uh, I, I had probably some problems with my immune system and I got sick every week. Uh, some colds, some viruses, uh, and one thing, uh, and, and, and one time my mother said, "It's because you went out yesterday with uh, your uh, hair wet." And I looked at her and I said, "Well, <laughs> I, I, I did the same a week ago and a week before and two days ago. So, so, so why do you think so? And besides, the hairs are are dead. They are not a, a, they are not a living system. So, so how comes? And, and or." Uh, we're not supposed to eat uh, wet watermelon and drink water. And then I read and in, in, in Hita Aleph that, that the watermelon is 90% water. So I said, well, it's the same water. Where, where are your beliefs come from? So, you know, things, are, things like this. And, uh, and it was very helpful in life because I, I, I was a rebellion. I never were, were, were walking with uh, tall jeans or, you know, I was very good with students and everything. But, but in every system that I participated in during my life, I didn't take things for granted. Like, that's how it is. No, why? Why is like this? Who said so? <laughs> because at my home, the example was that what they said is not the real truth. 
So the good thing is that I had to learn or explore, explore life by, by myself. No, no teachers, <laughs> no references. <laughs> Pura rasa. Svika, did your parents tell you about uh, their experiences during the war? A little bit, you know. I, I, I don't know if you are aware to that, but I think till 1960, the Eichmann trial, uh, we, the young, the Israeli generation, were not interested. We're not interested to, to hear how they suffer because it's a new dawn, it's a new area. It's a new uh, country, so who cares? And I think it changed in the 60s when we were more aware and respecting uh, the Holocaust. But before, um, nobody was really interested too much to hear and they were not interested too much to talk. But even if they, I mean, they, my parents, but also the, also the other uh, uh, Holocaust survivors, even if they didn't talk officially, you got the, 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 the sense and the essence of what they went through just from sentences here and from a song in Polish here and from the food. So, so you get it as they say with the milk of your mother, yeah. even without did, cotton. Did, you, so. did, your parents, did your parents hide food in the house? Not much, but they were not... Uh, 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 they had an in person, not, they not hide food, but uh, what we are not supposed, and I'm not doing, we are not supposed to throw out bread, uh, even if it's two days, three days old, because, because you never know, and, and, and there were times that we didn't have this bread. So, yeah. But, but you know, but the most important problem with the, the second generation is their emotional blunting. Uh, and so there were parents that took care on all the physical needs, not too much on what, what we call emotional needs, you know, uh, hugging and, and kissing and giving compliments. Uh, 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 so if I have to think uh, what's common to, to, to the second generation, uh, which is a good generation, uh, uh, because you know, we the second generation we got very good genes because our genes of survivors, physical and mental good genes. And on the other hand, we didn't get too much mothering or emotional. And, and there were a lot of uh, of, of, of studies. Uh, if there is any characteristics of the second generation, if they are more fucked up, more psychiatric disorders, and that's just not more psychiatric disorders, but we have a little bit uh, uh, problems with attachment because we grew up not in a regular, a normal attachment. And it's interesting that that's one, one characteristic of the second generation in, in Israel. Uh, and the other, other is that you, you, you need meaning for life. You, you, a little bit of anhedonia, life is not just to, have fun like Mel, uh, you know, singing and dancing in the rain, and and, and it's you have you have to contribute, you have to do something uh, meaningful, uh, and life is not just you know for enjoying. So we second generation are a little bit un unhedonic, and and the third thing is that uh, 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 many of those people are in. Uh, 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 treating uh, uh, professions like doctors, like psychiatrists, like psychologists, like uh, uh, you know, uh, like they, 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 are, in, they in, are they are he healing their wounds by healing other people. Also, yes, and also it has some contribution to to society, to the world. And it was interesting, you know, when when I left my last position as a a, a, a director of a psychiatric hospital, uh, uh, out of 11 psychiatric hospitals, six directors were second generation. More well, than second that. generation Holocaust survivors. The, the Holocaust, which is not statistically, uh, it's, it's not uh, representing the, the, the population, but it, it, it's, it's an interesting observation. 
Um, uh, so yes, uh, so the the, 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 the the only problem was if I'm going to be a lawyer or, or a doctor. So, but so I decided to to, to, to be to be. A and I thought I thought you wanted to be a soccer player. No, never, never. <laughs> so, a, so where a, did you? I mean, your son was not around. Nobody was teaching me uh, to play soccer. You know? Exactly. So, um, so when did you when did you um, start to think about medical school? You were you were you were a uh, a little bit of a rebel as a student. Well, I, I was a very good student. And then, and then you went to study the most difficult subject. Well, yeah, uh, yes, it's even more complicated because I, I have uh, ADHD, attention deficit disorder. So. So you, yeah, know, you, you keep telling me that, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, and, no, no but I mean, you're a psychiatrist. You know, you can you can write yourself prescriptions, right? I have I diagnosed myself as ADHD. <laughs> we are too, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the good thing about ADHD because because I have ADHD because you told me that I have ADHD. <laughs> yeah, but but we will talk a little bit later about what psychiatry is all about. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I went to medicine because it's it looks important. It looks uh, 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 something uh, that, that will honor, you know, my parents and myself. And I was a good student. And then I finished, you know, so I did in the Atuda Academy before before the army. And then I finished, and and, and I was doing my uh, stage in Ichilov. And after three months in internal medicine, uh, it was kind of uh, boring. And I felt that, well, it's like, you know, there is this uh, 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 graph. So it's, it's only, I'm almost at the plateau. It, that's what I'll do all my life uh, again and again and again. It's not interesting. And, and, and then uh, uh, surgery is not, is, 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 is not an option because that's not, uh, 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 my hands are not, uh, the, the strongest part, uh, uh, you know, in my in my life. Uh, uh, so I thought that psychiatry uh, may be very interesting because uh, it's not boring. It's not straightforward. You have to, to discover and, and and you have to grow with the field. We, we were just at the beginning of the field, and uh, and uh, so I got a year from the army as as an award to go to a hospital, and then I went to Geha. And after a month, I knew that's what I want. That's what I want to do, because it's really on the junction between uh, the uh, biology and the humanistic uh, 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 field and, and philosophy and art and, and a little bit of everything. And, uh, and 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 I like it very much. And I like it very much. And 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 since then, I'm I'm there. And but you're also very competitive. You know, you were. Uh president of international societies. You published hundreds of scientific articles. Yeah, that, yeah, that, you're you're well known all over the world. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's another thing. Uh, that's another thing that, you know, uh, 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 it's interesting because when, uh, when we started the uh, residency uh, with, uh, with, my, with my colleague, uh, my, the, the far away dream was that we can both because the, the, the director of the hospital tried to to make some uh, competition between us, and then I told him, "Listen, if we will be interested, both of us can make it to be uh, 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 head of a department in this hospital." This was like the most uh, the, the greatest dream. But then I, I became a director of, of of a ward on my third year of residency, but the the, the the director, she got a heart attack, and I was good enough to take over. I was 27 or 28, and and then it was fine. But then you want more, you know. That's one of uh, our problems. Your problems, you too. You always want more things, not necessarily uh, uh, just for the honor for the ego, but to do to do more. So then, uh, this program is not about me, but uh, I always want the next challenge. <laughs> okay, that's exactly. So you know, so that's why I started. Uh, I was the the, the head of uh, the the good of the psychiatric association here, and then I was on the European board, and then I was the representative of Europe in the 
World Psychiatric Association in the last two years I'm the chairman of the board of, uh, of the World Association. Now I'm running for- You're the chairman of the board of the World Association. Of the World Association. Now I'm, run, now I'm running for, for, for another job also in the world. Yeah, but, but, but Svika, you should, you know, you're, you're in pension. You should be, uh, you know, um, uh, making beautiful gardens grow and writing your memoirs and, and bouncing your grandchildren on your knee. My, when my, my father, when my father was 85, he was still uh, running the shop, uh, the shop, uh, shoe shop. And, and it was in what's called Me Mafteach. Uh, uh, if you, if you sell it be before you, you pass away, you can get something for it. Otherwise, it, you lose it. And then I, he was 85 and I said to him, well, Dad, isn't it enough? Can't you sit and, 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 and rest? So he looked at me and said, what, what do you expect from me to sit here in the garden with you know, this face? And, and watching the grass grow like those old pensioners. <laughs> and those old pensioners, they were 65. Exactly. <laughs> but for him, it was like the last thing to sit in the garden to watch. No. So now. But, but, no. but Svika, I was being facetious. Of course, people like you and me don't want to do that. We always want to be doing something. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why is that? Okay. Uh, well, let's talk to 60 seconds on ADHD. Uh, people mostly know it from children that they cannot sit there at school and they, they, it's hard for them to get attention and they need to rattle in and then they, they may have problems, you know, all this kind. And, and, and so that's one, that's, that's one side. I, I had more the inattentive uh, thing, which means, which means that if it's not the last moment, it's hard to concentrate. Also, it's hard to sit, like, like being in 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 front of a Ramsar, you know, after or, 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 or traffic light, traffic light, or on the road. It, it's like I, I cannot. I, I don't mind to, to drive another ten kilometers fast, but not to sit uh, to sit there, you know. And the reason the reason is uh, uh, biological that. We have one uh, 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 connection in the brain, the prefrontal uh, cortex, where where the dopamine, which is the the, 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 neuro, uh, the neurotransmitter uh, of uh, uh, of motivation and, and of uh, uh, love and of uh, 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 feeling good, uh, and, uh, so it's a little bit lazy. It's a bit a bit lazy. Now. If, if a, a person with an ADHD is not busy, he gets lost. Because, because then the, the, the brain is doing nothing. He feels like, like, like dead. And when, when he's doing something, especially when it's a, a, a challenging or, or there is a, a time limit, a deadline, all, all, my, all, all my achievements I owe to deadlines, <laughs> to deadlines. And uh, so then, then you, you're a little bit anxious on the positive side. Uh, and then you have the dopamine that we are looking for. And then, then, it's, then it's done. And then you feel good. Then you feel good. I feel good when I'm in a rush. I, 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 I feel bad just to, to sit and, 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 and watch. How, how long can you watch the sea? It's a very, very romantic. How, how long, I mean, how long can you watch the sunset? It's the same sunset that, 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 that has been yesterday. And I'm not talking about, I'm not saying that anti-Romans, anti but that's, that's how it feels. Okay, I got it. What's, what's now? What's the next? So, so, so this is, this is a, we're, we're treating, it's self-treatment well, for, it, for yes. a disease. Yes, it's self-treatment. If, if, one second, if I take Ritalin now, which I never took in my life, do you oh, take Ritalin? You take? Do you take? I'm I'm more advanced. I'm taking uh, uh, the attend now. It's it's <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit more advanced. Uh, are, are you allowed to prescribe yourself whatever you like? Uh, 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 Ritalin, yes. With the other thing, because it's expensive, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm using prescription of my family physician. That's <laughs> the only one. one second. What about what about medical marijuana? 
That works great. No, no, for no, no. That's even that's a diff, uh, that's much more complicated, and that you need a committee and uh, and and just you know for, for people to understand, there is no indication, no psychiatric indication for medical marijuana, besides uh, a total loss P a, 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 a PTSD, post trauma, which is not functioning anyway. So at least. Let, let him be uh, not angry, uh, not functional, less angry person. Uh -huh. but, but it's not a treatment for. for, for I, I'm, I'm very sad to hear this. No, it, 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 it can you it, it can make you feel good. And but Svika, if, if well, you know me, I'm 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 like you. I have to be doing something. Yep. Right. I'll go crazy, or crazier if I'm not busy. But. What you're telling me is if I take Ritalin, I'll be able to watch the sunset and sit in the backyard and watch the flowers bloom. Uh, not exactly because, because it's, it, it becomes like, like a second nature. But yes, yes, you would be able to concentrate more or even enjoy. I'm, Sitting and when after I take the pill, I'm writing the uh, court evaluation, which can be very boring, especially the details. We are not good in details. We are good in the in in, in the general idea. Now you now you're telling me. <laughs> but so, I know that. <laughs> so, but I, but but then I, I even enjoy it because you feel good. The dopamine in your head is is, is good, so you can enjoy even writing um, a report. And, and, it, and it's okay. So um, maybe maybe I should try some of that stuff. Who knows what will happen? Uh, not much, not much, not much, because uh, it, it, because it doesn't make you more smart. <laughs> and, and, and 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 possibly that that's that's the problem with all psychiatric disorders. So let's talk about it because I think it's a very nice way to look at it. Uh, uh, the, the chemistry behind a psychiatric disorder like ADHD is the same for all people. It can be different uh, quantitatively, that's neither in the spectrum, but, but it's the same dopamine, the same uh, 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 spot in the brain. However, people differ from each other by their other char characters like, like ADD, who is also intelligent, had the capability to do it on the last minute, like on the last night, two hours, and pass the exam with uh, nine, not ten. You cannot make a ten in, in two Which hours. Which is the story of your life. Yeah, the story. Uh, if you are not smart, you cannot finish your, 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 your studies. You don't have a profession. You don't, you, you're not professional. So you, you, so you are more in, in uh, 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 anti social behavior and criminal behavior. And indeed, you can see those people in high positions because they can think on many things at one time. And the other hand, in jail, their, their representation is eightfold than in the population. So ADHD makes them much more prone to go to jail. That's one thing. There's another thing. If, if you have ADHD and anxiety, you cannot come at the last moment because then you get too anxious. My luck was that I wasn't. I, I, I can start preparing a lecture at which planned for 8 a.m. At, at 12 midnight for the first time. And, and, and I'm not anxious, otherwise you, you, you cannot do it. So the thing, and the same goes with depression with everything, because what you see in psychiatric disorders, it's the chemical deficit or defect or impairment in the brain, which is common to everybody, that's, that's the basic. But then you see how this person is, is uh, uh, coping with this uh, uh, defect or inability. So what you see is the, the, the synthesis between uh, the, 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 the chemical or brain impairment and the coping mechanisms and other qualities that this person had. For instance, uh, one can be a very good soccer player, 
because you, you need that you, you because ADHD you can you, you can see what's going on at the same time so 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 it can be a very good uh, way to 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 make a great career uh, so my son my my son finished uh, he also the same he finished a uh, uh, law school and then on 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 the stage he was sitting there with all those contracts 20 pages of contract and he realized that, that that's not what he wants to do for the rest of his life. So now he's a CEO of a, of a company because that's making decisions, not, not reading and, and writing, you know, which, which can be very boring. So, so Tzvika, um, so here, here's the thing. Um, do I need medication if I, if I have a life and I'm coping? Uh, when, when, when do people, when are people, you said it's a disorder, but who decides what a disorder is? Oh, very simple. Very, no, very simple. If, if, I, if I'm a little weird, but I, I make my way through life and society. Very, very, if, very, if, it's, if it's simple, you tell me. Very simple. Uh, who decides? A, a committee. You know, <laughs> like like all the jokes that you know that, that, that it, it, it's 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 a committee decision. Well, like like in like in, in well, a committee decides on how to call it this street or this town. Or so no, so, but uh, the the one of the first condition that has to be uh, a, a, a distress or suffering. If you if you are not distressed and and you are not complaining, so that's probably not, not a disorder. Oh, but, but, but maybe other people are complaining. You know, if if you like to poop in the street and it doesn't bother you every morning to go out onto the street and, and have a poop, but it bothers other people. Well, well, if they, if it no, well, if, if it bothers other people, probably they will complain or call the police or do something or hit him. So then, then he will be on, on distress. And if it's at work, he will be fired. No, so there has to be a, a distress. Uh, there are many people with ADHD and they manage. And, and as a psychiatrist, I can say, yes, you have ADHD, but that's okay. It's like saying that, that you don't have hair on, on, on your head. I mean, I mean. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you lost, last night. You lost when I woke point. up this morning. <laughs> yes. So, you know, but I'm not judgmental. Yeah. Well, well, or saying that we both have, have eyeglasses. I mean, so there is one way is the description. Yeah. This, this, which, which shouldn't be judgmental. And the other one is when you treat. You treat when, when there is a distress. And it's always, uh, 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 you, you look at the, the, the pros and the cons. Uh, yeah, what, what you're saying, you know, every time we talk, I get some, ideas. So, so what you're telling me is that actually uh, sanity is, is a, cultural, a cultural thing. Because when we were kids, you know, uh, they tied our left hand so that we wouldn't become left-handed because that was considered a, not normal to be left-handed. And in many societies, it would be considered crazy, sinister, so maybe uh, this is a cultural thing. Yes and no. I, 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 yes and no. Uh, 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 Left-handed, uh, it's about fifteen percent of the population, so they are still a minority. Yeah. Most uh, places are designed for, for right right-handed, so it's not a disease, it, but it's uh, uh, something that characterizes. 15% of the population. Yeah, but Svika, 15 years let's ago, in, in, in Greece, it was considered a disease. And if you wanted to go to first grade, yeah, but that's because you know, of to and still be left-handed, you needed to go to London to get a letter from a physician that said that your handedness could not be correct. Yeah, that's because of ignorance, not because... Well, but, well, things are changing. I give you another example, which is, uh, I think, uh, a little bit more uh, uh, practical and ma makes the point. Homosexuality. 10% of the population, roughly, you have a homosexual uh, 
tendencies or preference of just being homosexual. Till the 1960s, it was an, uh, a disease. Uh, 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 and uh, it was something that wasn't wasn't normal. Definitely. One second in the DSM. What do you call that book of your of diseases? DSM. Yes. Yes. It was it was written as a disease. No, 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 no. It, it, it that's important. It, it it was one of the paraphilias. Paraphilia, philia, love para. You love something which is para, not 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 the mainstream. So homosexual, homosexuality was one of those paraphilias, like like pedophilia and, uh, and voyeurism, you know, all, 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 all this stuff. Now, due to the lobby, lobby of homosexuals, and in the new DSM from 1980, it was omitted from the bad mode. Wow. So, so it's a social, it's a social decision. Still, they are, they are a minority. Still, they cannot have a normal, what is called normal family. Uh, 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 the, uh, uh, most of the times, their children are not their own children. Maybe one of the couple, not both of them. But it's not called a disorder anymore because it's a decision. Only because of this, nothing so, has changed. So, so you just, you know, so you've just convinced me that sanity and insanity are, are, are just cultural things at the end of the day. Uh, well, uh, uh, it's because, it's because if there was no religion in Israel, right, uh, then a religious person would be considered a crazy person believing in something that you can't see, smell, or hear. Yes. And yeah. you'd, give them, you'd give them some medication. No, but no, I, I, I make it easier. No, no, it's I make it easier because uh, many people have the same fear of those crazy psychiatrists who just want to hospitalize, uh, hospitalize us. <laughs> well, you know, because they think that we are crazy, they are more crazy. No, uh, 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 the thing is that. We don't use the, 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 the word the crazy or not crazy in, in, in the profession. Uh, if somebody is psychotic, psychotic, which means crazy, psychotic, and the definition of, of, of being psychotic is that the, the, uh, uh, the sense of reality is impaired. He is not living in the reality of his surrounding, of his surrounding. If it's a religion, and of course, you, you, whether you believe it or you don't believe it, if it's a religion and that's the norm to pray three times and, and, and to say the same thing, and then it's the norm of, of, of the community. So they are not crazy. You can say they are different. They are different. Uh, they behave in an unscientific way. Yes, and they behave in an unscientific way. But, but they're not crazy uh, in, in our terms. I mean, their sense of reality is not impaired. The, the basic is, yes, there is God, he's watching, we believe in God, that's okay. Uh, that's not the only belief, now, now we believe in, in a, a, a diet and what we are eating. The whole books and the whole, what you read about uh, vitamins and what they have to eat this and to have to eat, there's no scientific evidence for nothing. The same as the alternative medicine. Alternative medicine never had any proof from what they are doing. But people need people need to believe. I mean, we created God. We need God. It's, I don't know if God needs us, you know, the sinners. But we need a power. We need a power uh, 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 to protect us, to 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 uh, uh, to be there for us. So if it's not God, it's it's what we eat. And and you see that people will eat a little bit of this. Believing that it's healthy. I mean, we so, don't have so human beings are rational creatures that have a requirement to be irrational creatures. Yes, I, I, don't, I don't. Most people, by the way, I, I don't think that most people are rational. Most people. Okay, are, so one second, one second. I, I, I'm, I'm getting there right now because now I want to start closing the loop, if you don't mind. So we talked at the beginning about you being a rational kid with parents who were Holocaust survivors. And, and could not be rational in that time and period because of what they went through. 
Um, and, and you're an expert, a world expert in love and the chemistry of love. And um, I want to ask you, um, is everything you do now as an adult, as, as my friend of many years, is everything you do rational? No, no, not at all. In fact, it, when, when we call somebody rational, it's, it, it's not a compliment. We mean it's, it's, it's a terrible, terrible, non-flexi, no, with no flexibility person. You're the one, you're the one to be around a, a person that is always rational and say, well, you're not supposed to laugh now, I'm serious. <laughs> you know, no, uh, 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 it's a mix. It, it's, it's a mix of both. It's a mix of beliefs, of course. Many people are trying, to, for instance, to rationalize their, their fears. Somebody may be suffer from anxiety. He will not tell you, well, I'm a little bit anxious when I'm walking uh, here on, on, on those heights. I'm, I'm a little bit anxious. But he will tell you, well, I think we got it enough for today. Let, let, let's go home. It, it's, it's, it's getting late. I don't know where the last bus is or things like this. Or somebody is very tough with, with, with his money and they charge him 30 shekels for, 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 for a bottle of beer. He would say, well, I'm not coming here anymore because those people are antisocial. They want to, 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 to take our money and all those theories. What, what makes him angry that he's paying three shekels more than in the other place. So we not always be irrational, and especially with, with love. And, and, and that's something interesting, uh, which can combine love and everything. So it, it, it's okay to be superstitious? But, but well, uh, if it's... If it's Do you have any superstitions that you want to share with the world? Not really, not really. But well, if, it's, if, if it's something is really very important, I would do like, like this, knock on, on, on the wood. I rest my case. Yeah, I know, I know, no, but it's very often. Now, usually I knock on my... I'll of, keep my case. Of, of the person that I'm talking to, I knock on his head, you know, it's like knocking on the wood. No, but uh, uh, no, no, here is the thing with the, what you call irrationality. It's all about dopamine. Dopamine is this neurotransmitter that is elevating our mood, our motivation, our energy, fun. Uh, 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 if you give it to, to, to mice, they, they, they will push uh, uh, until they die. And cocaine is like the, 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 the pure, it, it, it helps the brain to use its own dopamine to have that like pure. Now, sex is raising dopamine, food, especially carbohydrates are raising dopamine. Uh, working uh, workaholic, it, it's all about dopamine. So love is all about dopamine, falling in love, not later on, later on, you know, the, it's, it's another story. But, but and, 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 and people, now, eating, it, it's, it's not healthy, you get, you get fat. Uh, 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 so sex, well, it, it, it's okay, but after a while, you know, it, it, it becomes, you know, a, a regular thing. How, how many things you can do on the extreme all the time. Now, love is something that provokes dopamine, at least on falling in love. And people are thinking in an obsessive way about the, the other person wanted to be there. They feel happy, they feel energetic, they feel that they got the world in their hands. Well, until until it, it ends after after a while, and many people, what they are interested in is to fall in love. The other person is just the object, because the fantasy is well. When I was in love, and I will be in love. I will be full of energy and dopamine. So sometimes you can be just an innocent bystander, and somebody will fall in love with you because they need to fall in love because of the dopamine. So, so that's, that, that's, how, that's how it works. So it's not just chemistry, it's chemistry, for instance, you cannot fall in love if somebody is really too stupid and not appropriate, you know, that's, will, 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 or if they are religious and the other one is not, but uh, so 
the basic is always chemistry, but the, but it's not just simple. It's not just one dopamine, and it not and and, and there is more social psycho social factors around, which you have to take into account. So that's why when we say that all behaviors are bio, psycho, social, cultural, that's 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 the truth. It's not just a saying. So it, it's but not. You are right. It's 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 social and psychological. I, okay. So I thought you were going to tell me that everything, including love, is chemistry, and you're telling me that it's not. It starts with chemistry, but then it either morphs into something that is not chemistry, that is social, cultural. Definitely, de definitely. However, however, if you block block the chemistry, for instance, the, like with antipsychotics, you block the dopamine. Mm -hmm. People will not fall in love. People will, will, will not enjoy. Like people with Parkinson, there's a there's a dopamine problem in Parkinson. They are, they are unhedonic, or, or, or in depression, they, they they will not enjoy. Okay, enjoy. People, one second. You so need to be intact to enjoy life. No, this is important life. because half of the people in my family get Parkinson's. So you're saying that when you have Parkinson's, it's harder to fall in love. It's harder to yeah. be in love. Okay. It's harder to feel love. If you have a severe Parkinson, severe, not at the first stages, yeah. it, 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 very often it goes with depression. And then, uh, then falling in love is sort of uh, too high, too big. Uh, it, 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 it's not what people are looking for. They it's think, too lofty. They look to, yeah, they look to survive. Uh, so as I'm saying, yes, you, 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 you need to have an, an intact, Chemistry, like if if you're not seeing with your eyes, you cannot enjoy the, the trees, or you cannot enjoy the beach. If you see, then you can rather, rather enjoy it or not. But you have to, you, your eyes and 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 the brain center has to to function well. So the same here, uh, uh, it, you have to get dopamine. But it's not just simple. You get dopamine if 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 if, if it's enjoyable. You have good memories. If it's not really forbidden, you know, if it doesn't create you too much problems, you know, and, and all, 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 all. So, yes, yeah, so, so life is complicated. And if once we thought that chemistry is everything, we know now that it, it's not, and it's not. And I think it's very good to, 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 to remain somebody who is uh, searching, searching and observing and trying to find answers because the worst people are those who already found the answers and they know everything and that they live in a closed system. Everything is fine and, and, and so this this is remarkable because I like I've known you for 15 or 20 years and this is a, a loving relationship. Uh, I really do love you. Uh, and um, and it seems to me that you've come a certain ways in our discussion because there was a time when you would say to me it's all chemistry, it's all pills. And now you say to me, no, it's, it's, it's like, you know, the older we get, the more we see that life is very nuanced. Yes, but, yeah, but, but, but when I said it before, when I said it before, it was to emphasize or, or, or sort of anti-psychologist and the, the theories of psychologists. So it's a little bit making it more extreme what I really believe. Well, I'm going to have to have you back on the show now to talk about psychiatry and psychology. But I have, I have just two more questions because we're now, you know, time with you, um, it's like Einstein. <laughs> when I'm talking with you, you know, time just, that's no significance. So Tzvika, two more questions, two more questions. Uh, the first question is, when you meet somebody at a, at a social event, when you met me 20 years ago, okay, um, do you, can you just, look at me as Tzvika Zemishlami, the human being? Or is there always a layer of the psychiatrist, Professor Tzvika Zemishlami, mm -hmm. the international renowned mm -hmm. psychiatrist, looking, was I looking at a new per person and saying, hmm, dopamine, ADHD? Yeah, uh, well, see, uh, they always ask the psychiatrist the same question. And my answer is exactly the same with somebody who is going 
to a museum and he has an, a, a degree in, in, in art. Well, I've been, I, I, I had the pleasure to be back in the 80s with a, a woman uh, that, that was really uh, uh, specializing in art. And we went in the same, uh, at the same museum in, in, in Paris, but she had an extra thing to it. He said, this is the day from his melancholic period and it, 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 this was that. So knowing a little bit more makes it more richer, not, not, not more restrict. I'm going to argue the opposite, you know. Why? Uh, because I had, uh, that's, you know, and next time we get, we'll have to schedule you again because we're running out of time and we have to talk about relationships and psychology versus psychiatry. We have so many things. But when I once went to spoiler, think about it. Who is more fucked up, psychologist or psychiatrist? And yeah, that's for, the, that's for the next show. But let's just, you know, Tvika, I was once in Chicago and there was an impressionist exhibit uh, comparing um, a, um, two impressionists um, in a minute that I'll remember, but now I can't remember. <clears throat> um, and I, I made the mistake of buying the headphones for $10 and walking around having an art curator explain to me the impressionist art. And I got out of the museum and I said, I learned a whole lot. I didn't enjoy it. Uh -huh. I know, but no, no, the answer is that, that uh, you, as a psychiatrist, you, you're becoming much more tolerant and not judgmental. So I can tell you that you have ADHD but it's not a, a derogative uh, 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 term. No, I know that, but, but you know, you're, like that, you're, that, you're, you're, you're not answering my question. You go to a party and you meet a guy, because I'm going to get the- I can, see, I can see from the first minute, much more than most people uh, can see. Okay. And the, the next it, time I can give you some examples that, uh, uh, that from one sentence or, or, or gesture, you can tell a whole story and usually it's the, the true story. So yes, so in, in, in a very short time, you, you know much more about a person. And the same in the clinic. The way you see, usually- The clinic is okay, but you, you go to a party to meet somebody and you're not able to let your guard down. Not able to what? To let your guard down and just be speak of the human being for a moment. No, but I, I, I don't care if, if, if you have ADHD. It's like I don't care that you have eyeglasses. Ah, okay, okay. That's okay. what I'm saying. I can see. I, everybody sees that you have, you have eyeglasses. I'm not judgmental about ADHD. I think ADHD has pros and cons. Okay, so you're making a diagnosis, but you're not acting upon it. No, the, and, it, and, 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 and not, it's not a judgmental. Like, like, yeah, like yeah. If, if, I, if somebody said in the party when I was very young, somebody says in the party, when I start a book, I have to finish it, even if it's very boring. I didn't know the person. And I was sitting with the woman that I came, I said, let me describe this person. And I, I described an obsessive compulsive personality. So it, it's very easy. That's one sentence. Because I, no, otherwise he will not be so proud that every time he starts a book, he has to finish it. No way, no matter what. So it, 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 it doesn't disrupt the, the relationship. But if the guy's name is Norman, are you able just to assimilate Norman as, as, as a Norman, not as somebody with OCD and dopamine of 700? No, but see, see when you look at the person, you always see many things. He, if he's tall or not tall, if he smiles, is nice to you, if, if, if he's, he's polite or not, if he has a belly, if, you know, if he, uh, you know, so, so you're doing it all the time. You're just seeing more things. Uh, uh, on, 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 on the mind. But, but, but we all see very many, many variations and many characters, ca characters in a person just from seeing him, just from the clothes he or she just from if, if they're attractive, attract, if we are attracted to them or not, if they're smart or not, if they, if they make you nervous or not. So it's there anyway. 
So uh, we're, we're, we're running out of time. Tzvika, you are a person uh, who loves music and um, you are always, a, and someone who loves challenges. So in one, in just one minute or two, what was this thing about the saxophone? You learned the saxophone in your 60s. What was that all about? Uh, no, that, that's, uh, that's not something I'm, uh, I'm proud of, but, but, but you can take any event of, 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 of a person and, 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 and it gives you like an, uh, a window to see. But you should well, be very proud. Well, I, I, you know, I, I had this fantasy of, uh, of, of, of uh, playing the saxophone. And then I had this fantasy that I will play on the, on the wedding of, of, of my daughter. And then she told me that she get, gets married in, in, in six months. <laughs> so I, I got mail. <laughs> I got mail. And as an emergency teacher uh, to teach me uh, 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 the falling leaves, uh, which I somehow managed to, to do. Uh, and, and that's Mel it. Mel got you a, t a real teacher. I cannot compete with you or with uh, any other professionals, you know. So when I'll, 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 be, I'll grow up and I'll have time. I'll, I'll, I'll no, but why, why, should you, why should you feel you have to compete? I mean, isn't it, can uh, you look in the mirror and say, I'm isn't it I'm remarkable that I learned to play Falling Leaves? I, I know, but I, I, I'm not in a level that I can enjoy it. It's not like natural. It's not like... We're going we're gonna to leave that for our next conversation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because we can talk forever. Uh, last question I ask all of my guests about the Beatles. Do you love the Beatles? Yeah. What is your favorite song? Uh, well, there, there are many. I think Yesterday, yesterday is, a, is a very nice song. Uh, and all we need is love. Either one of them. I think. I think all we, all we need is love. Love is everything. And just one sentence. I, I I admire for years. I admire those four young kids that are twenty four. And it's not just that we're good, great musicians. The, the words, the, the the word that they are using, it was it's so sensitive, so smart. I mean, many people can live twice or three times and you'll never get to this the degree of sensitivity that those guys had and it's it's amazing so yesterday is a very sensitive show okay, okay so i always ask my my i was going to say patients <laughs> uh, my guests to uh to sing a little bit of the song that they love so i'm taking you outside your comfort zone now professor tzvika zemishlami sing us a little beatles tune uh, you, 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 you didn't prepare me for that. Uh, um, I, so I, I just, just the first uh, line. Yeah. It was just an easy game to play. Da, 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 da. <laughs> but I believe in yesterday. Tzvika, yeah. this has been remarkable. Um, we've gone on for 53, min 53 minutes. Um, and I'm going to have to have you back. And okay. I can't wait until our next uh, beer together to continue this uh, wonderful uh, dialogue of many years. So, Professor Tzvika Zemishlani, thank you very much. Thank very you much. very much. It was my pleasure, my honor, my pleasure to be on your show. Bye-bye. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.